What up folks, Alex here, I hope you're all good. Today I've just got a real quick video for you all because I've finally finished those loading or progressed bar pack which I hinted about a few weeks ago on my community page. They're available now for you to download and start using. There's two packs available. There's one which is completely free or you can buy the full pack which contains 14 different progress bars from the buy me a coffee link down below. That'll set you back just three coffees, so about nine pounds, and that'll get you all of these different loading bars. These are a little bit more expensive than my transitions, but they've just taken so much more work to create, so they are a little bit more expensive. Now the cool thing with these loading bars is they're completely customizable, so you can make them as long or as short as you like. There'll always be a one second animation in, one second animation out, and then the progress bar will be in the middle, so they'll always look really cool and really polished. And you can also just customize all of the colors. So you can change the color of the outside of the box, the fill on the inside, the color of the text. You can change the font. So any fonts you've got, you can change those as well. You can even change the wording. So if you don't want it to say loading, you can say waiting. You can do all that sort of stuff. Completely customizable. And they will work on any frame rate and any resolution. Now I recommend, even if you want to buy the pack, even if you want the full ones, download the free version first, make sure you know how to install it, make sure they all work, and then go ahead and buy the other pack if you want to. Just a good way of doing it, make sure that you're happy with them and you actually want to buy them before you commit to spending any of your hard-earned cash. Right, with that out of the way, let's hop on the PC. I'll show you how they all work, how to install them, what they do, all that sort of good stuff. So first thing, make sure DaVinci Resolve is closed down before you perform this process. Then click on the link, depending on whether you've gone for the free or the paid version, and you'll see something that looks like this. So we've got some settings, files, and then we've got a readme.txt. What you need to do is to download all of these files and save them to a place on your PC. Once you've got them, you'll end up with something like this. So we've got the three settings, files, and a readme.txt file. So if we open up the text file, in there there's a bunch of instructions for what you need to do with these files and where you need to store them. So we've got Windows, we've got Mac, and we've got Linux. So for Windows, all I'm going to do is copy this directory here. I'm going to open up File Explorer, or my PC, and then we're just going to paste that into there like so. And then we can just copy our settings files and paste them into this generators directory. Once they're there, you'll end up with something that looks like this. So I've got all my Mr. AT loading bars in there. And then from there, I can open DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Now, as I mentioned, these will work on any timeline resolution, 1080p, 4K, whatever it is. And they will also work on any frame rate. Now, of course, the higher the frame rate, the higher the resolution, the longer they'll take to render. So just bear that in mind. I'm just going to go with 1080p and 24 for this demonstration. And now we're on the Edit tab. We're going to click on Effects Library in the top left-hand corner. We're going to open the Toolbox. We're going to go to Generators, and then in this Fusion Generators area here, you will see the Mr. AT loading bars. And all we're going to do, we're going to grab one, drag our mouse, and put it onto our timeline. Now I recommend that you go to Playback, Render Cache, and change that to Smart to make sure that it renders these in the background because they won't play at regular speed otherwise. Once you've got that turned on, you'll see this little bar appear above it. Once it's turned blue, that means it's rendered and it will play back smoothly, like so. Now these can be stretched to any length, so you can make them as long or as short as you like. You can see it will automatically adapt to the length of the file as required. Now if you give it a click and then open the inspector in the top right hand corner, from here there's a bunch of different options. So we've got the fusion tab and then we've got the video tab. So just go to the video tab really quickly. This has all of your usual settings, so we can do zooms, we can change the position, we can change the rotation, you can change everything like you usually would. Within the Fusion tab, you've got these little icons across the top. If you hover your mouse, you'll see what they are. So we've got a controls, bar color, and fill color. You can also right click and you can see the options in there. Within the controls, we can change the font, so we can change this one from Arial, Two, let's try a Reno, and you can just change the font to whatever font you've got installed on your PC. We can change the color of the text, so let's make this blue. We can also change the size of the text, as well as the tracking of the text, to completely change the look of this loading bar. Now for any that you've got the word loading in there, so I've got loading text here, 
you can change that wording. So it currently says loading. I could change that to say waiting, or I could change that to be progress, whatever it is that you want. And then the complete text, this is what happens when it reaches 100, it changes to complete. We could change that to be done or finished or whatever it may be. If we click on the next tab, this one here is the bar color. So this is the outside area, which is currently white. We can change that color to be red or whatever it may be. We can just mess around with that until we're happy. We're going to, have to change it from a solid color to different sort of fades and gradients. And the same goes for the next tab, which is the fill color. Currently it's a red and green. We can change it to be a white and a black. And now we've got a white and a black fade. They're not all completely the same. Obviously some have different options. This one doesn't have the loading and complete wording because there's no text on it. Instead it has the percentage here. We can change the font for that if we want to. And again, we can change any of the solid colors and the fill colors. Another one worth mentioning really quickly, this one, which is the bubble one. This has loads of options across the top. If we right click, we've got the color of the bubble itself. We've got the bar color, we've got the background color, and then we've got the fill color. You can customize these to your heart's content and just make them your own loading bars for future use. Of course, being fusion compositions, if we change one, so let's just change the color of this to red, like so. We can then drag that into our power bin if we want to. So then we've got it later on for future projects with all of those color changes that we made. So that's it. I hope you like the look of these bars. If you do, let me know. Let me know if there's any other resources you'd like to see. Let me know what you think of the pricing. I'll always read your comments and I'll try to reply when I can. Thanks ever so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the other good stuff. Take it easy, folks. I'll see you next time. See ya.